Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about painting the illusion of stems. I really don't paint stems. I paint the part of the vase that doesn't look like stems. Let me show you. Remember in my earlier videos, I showed you about painting flowers. One of the things I'd like to do is, well, paint the silhouette first. Get the design. At least I was going for that technique. And then I can start adding color, always a focal point. Now this is a solid vase, okay, ceramic, something like that. But what about glass? I gotta show the stems. So from the solid, solid vase, I just paint some of the colors behind the vase, something close to it, like the wall. So I don't paint the stems, I paint the parts that don't look like stems. I'm going to be working on this one right here. You can see that I've made a nice, dark vase at this point. Eventually I'm gonna be ending up looking, hopefully something looking like this, okay? Again, we're mostly focusing on this, where is I'm seeing the color behind the wall, okay? Behind the vase, and just slightly different, all right? And that kind of gives the illusion of, of vases, all right? You can see here my smaller pieces, these are my little warm-ups, early morning warm-ups. These are like 10 inches by 10 inches. Very loose, but just, again, painting the illusion of just stems. They all started out solid at one point. And then uh, this one, all mostly red. So I'm looking through glass, I'm gonna see that, the color red. Here are my smaller six inches by nine inches. These are really fast, over and over and over. It's repetition, like something like muscle memory. So I'm all set, I have my, my acrylic paints here in the palette, right close by. I have a bucket of water, one big brush. I'm gonna be working on this one. Let's get started. So, Here's an early sketch of where I'm going. Remember, before I do a painting, what's the uh, composition, what's the concept, and what's the color? Well, the concept is that it's gonna be a painting of flowers. What's the composition? There's the cruciform, also it's asymmetrical, where you have a lot over here and one little thing over here, the focal point, remember, asymmetrical. And the color, mostly it's all greens, almost all greens, and look, the focal point, complementary color of the green. Okay, and a lot of contrast. See, a lot of contrast. So that's this practice piece. Here's the bigger one. I'm all set. Now I wanna establish, reestablish the background color, the wall. Let's make it slightly blue. Ooh, a lot of white. Have a little green in there. Oh, nice color. There we go. So you do all the mixing on the palette, not on the canvas. Not beautiful color. Here we go. This will be nice contrast. Big brush. Stand back. Nice. I kind of like that. It's a nice, elegant neck. There we go. A little bit of a lip. All right, on the other side. Balance it off a little bit. There we go. Nice. And there goes flowers back there. Some negative shape painting, but that's not what we're gonna be really emphasizing at this point. It's mostly about how do I turn this into glass? Well, there's the color. Oh, I want completely different shapes, huh? There we go. So the stems above the water will be in focus because you're looking through a front piece of glass. 
and then the glass in the back. And under underneath the water, they'll be slightly out of focus. They're underwater. So the way I'm going to do that is just change this color just a little bit. Just change it. There we go. And here come the stems. Stop there. Stop there. See? And the stems are coming in from here. It's like I'm looking through the glass. Now underneath, I'm slightly out of focus. I'm going to add some more weird colors to this, just so it looks different. And of course the stems, they don't go straight down. They kick over to the left, or to the right a little bit. That's the color of black. Wow, look at these colors in here. Now the table actually is shines through the glass and you'll see the color of the table. In this case, I'm gonna make the table very white. There we go. <clears throat> and that's the that's the color I want. Nice and white. down a shadow there we go the shadow there really emphasizes where the light's coming from the back edge of that table is there and there's your shadow as the shadow goes further away it gets thinner I use my fingers here ah, see more out of focus and now I'm going to see this part of the table inside here and because it's round it's actually going to go up in the air like this a little bit you'll see this next time you start staring at a round vase of flowers something like that so it actually acts as a mirror and you're looking through it there we go something like that now let's show the front of the glass right now it's just And comes down here a little bit. I'm going to play with this color a little bit. Let's have some fun here. Whew. Now we're having a good time painting. I'm playing with color. See? And I'm going to show the water line. Just a little hint. And again, the stems underneath are out of focus. And the front, nice and bright. And that's it. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'm Bob Burridge, and this is how I paint stems in a vase. Hey. I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm dreaming about my next workshop in Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Having this coffee early in the morning, sitting on my veranda, looking at the ocean. It's one of my favorite places to go. It's Casa de la Artiste, and, you, and you've heard me talk about this. This is the house that we go to, and we stay there, we sleep there, we eat there, we paint there, and just looking over the ocean, it's fantastic. Go to my website. So you can see all the details, but remember, it's in January. January, so hurry up and sign up. I'll see you there.